in this video we are going to calculate the main dimensions so what are the main dimensions like uh, just now we discussed d and l are the main dimensions d is a diameter and uh, l is a armature length so we have to we are going to calculate these uh, main dimensions d and l so simultaneously there are uh, other different aspects involved with that so first calculate the main dimension so for calculating some the, these main dimensions we have some empiric, empirical formulas so what are the empirical formulas so let's uh, understand it so for this machine the efficiency motor efficiency is already given as 92% and uh, similarly let's calculate the speed so it is already given that 1000 rpm but uh, we need we will use most of the times in the uh, rps so we are going we are dividing with uh, 60 so i am just trying to calculate uh, so that you will get some good better feeling so 16.67 rps this is the rotations per second so this this figure we are going to use uh, many times so what is the power developed in the armature so whenever uh, we are give, we are supplying uh, the uh, 240 volts uh, say this is that uh, this is the armature and we have slip rings here we, we have a commutator arrangement here and we have brushes here so whenever we you are supplying 240 volts uh, dc to this uh, motor so say for example this is one pole this is another pole this is say north pole this is south pole so there will be a production of uh, armature I mean electromagnetic power so we will say pa or we some we can say pe also electromagnetic power in the armature so what is that value we have some basic empirical formula 1 plus 2 into efficiency by 3 efficiency into p so this is this plays a major role so let's calculate this value let's substitute the efficiency value here here efficiency is 0 0.92 3 into 0 0.92 so I am not writing 0. Point, okay, let's write other way. 0. 0.92. So this is the P value is 75. So let's calculate this value. So 1, 1 plus 2 into 0. 0.92 divided by 3 into 0. 0.92. So you have uh, 75 now. So the value is 77.77.173 kilowatt. This is the armature power <laughs> armature power developed so now uh, let us go to, to calculate uh, another parameter let us assume few more parameters so you have uh, some specific loadings so we have some specific loadings here so mainly specific loadings means uh, for a particular cross section or a particular length uh, what is the uh, allowable value for example we have b average this is the magnetic loading so what is the allow allowable magnetic loading on this uh, dc motor similarly we have ac ac is number of uh, electrical loading we will say so electrical loading so this is the uh, we will give in uh, weber per meter square similarly this we will give in uh, ampere per meter ampere per meter so what are the values for these parameters generally for this rating of 75 kilowatt we will assume 0.5 as the 0.5 as the uh, magnetic loading and uh, 35000 as the electrical loading so these things uh, we will use for uh, our basic calculations so we are going to after that we are going to calculate the output coefficient so the output coefficient is one of the parameter which indicates the uh, how much uh, the electrical and magnetic loadings are there so uh, what is the values of uh, uh, values of uh, different uh, parameters in this uh, dc motor we will we can calculate it so you have one uh, output coefficient so we should use this we should use this output coefficient for many parameters calculation so that is the we will say we will indicate with the uh, c naught so that C naught is nothing but we have some basic formula 
v average into ac into 10 power minus 3 this is the formula for the output coefficient so pi square is that is common v average magnetic loading we just assume as a 0.5 so let's take that value uh, so electrical coefficient we just assume as 35000 into 10 power minus 3 so just calculate this in calculator so that you can get a better feeling so pi square into 0.5 into 35000 into 10 power minus 3 so we got 172.71 so this is the output coefficient c naught we will say so we have uh, for d square l product so let's calculate this d square l product for this uh, d square l we have some basic formula whatever power now developed into c naught by efficiency this is the basic formula we will use already the power developed we calculated as 77.12 and C naught we got just now 172.71. Similarly, the speed this is the this is not efficiency. This is a, the RPS rotations per second small n that is 16.67. So with this you can calculate d square l value 77.12 divided by 172.71 into 16.67. So you will you we can get 0 0.02678 so this is in a meter cube so now we will calculate some other parameters this we can write like a 26.8 into 10 power minus 3 meter cube like this also we can write this equation so uh, we have uh, say the whatever uh, say this is the so say this is the pole, you have four pole structure for this job. So the distance between pole center to pole center, we will say pole pitch. We will say pole pitch, that is nothing but tau. So pole pitch is nothing but tau. So that is nothing, pi into whatever shaft diameter is there, pi into d by, if you divide with the number of poles, that is the pole pitch actually. So, you have some other assumption also. So, pole, we have some other assumption also that is nothing but uh, pole arc to pole pitch ratio. So, whatever uh, pole arc is there and uh, pole pitch is there, that ratio we will say as uh, xi. So, pole arc to pole pitch ratio. Generally, we will take uh, this rate 0.6 to 0.7. In this case, we, we took this value as 0 0.67. So, let us uh, calculate uh, the dimension, the further dimension. So, if, if we, this, this pole, we assume like a square pole. So, for this uh, square pole, whatever the uh, pole arc is there, that is nothing but uh, pole arc, that is nothing but the length of the armature. So, the length of the armature really is nothing but xi into pole pitch. So, z into pole pitch. This is uh, one of the parameters. So, and uh, let's calculate uh, our main aim is we are going to calculate d in this figure. From this figure, we are going to calculate d now. So, l is nothing but l is nothing but 0.67 into. So, you can you can calculate it here. Pole pitch. So, pole pitch tau is nothing but pi into d by p, p in our case is 4, so 0.67 pi by 4 into d, so let's calculate, uh, we already have this equation, this is nothing but d square l, so we have this equation with us, so let's substitute uh, this l value in this equation, then this equation becomes already d square is there, now the L value is 0 0.67 into 5 by 4 into D. So the D becomes a DQ that equal to that equal to so 26.8 into 10 power minus 3. So this is a D value, let's calculate it. So this D value becomes a, this D value becomes 
So 26.8 into 10 power minus 3 minus 3 into 4 by 0.67 into 5. So for that total you have to take 1 by 3. This uh, so you got 370.370. So this is a uh, 0 0.370. So we will say 37 mm. So now finally we got uh, dimensions. We got D now. D is the uh, 37 mm. So instead of 370, let us consider 400.4. Otherwise, 40 mm. Let's consider. So 40 mm is the the 40 mm is the diameter. Sorry, 400 mm is the 400 mm is the diameter. Otherwise, 0.4 meter is the diameter. Now we know the D and let's calculate the L here. So 0.67 into 5 by 4 into so we took 400 mm. So 0.67 into 5 into 400 by 4. So you will get you will get here 210 you will get here two, <coughs> so you will get some uh, l value from this uh, figure yeah so this is about uh, this uh, the, the dimensions guys so d value and uh, l value we just uh, calculated so this is about this yeah, from this equation also you can get this uh, L value. Otherwise, 26.8 into 10 power minus 3 divided by D square. D is nothing but we just got a uh, 0.4. So that is nothing but point L value is nothing but so 0.167. So we will take as a 170 mm. So finally, the value of uh, D we got a uh, 400 mm and uh, L we got 170 mm. So this is what are the main dimensions we will say. So in the next part you will consider how to design the armature. So be with me, subscribe to this channel for many more updates.